Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to New Daily. Tuesday training, Daz here. Checking in with another episode of New Daily. Of course, my personal vlog on how I deal with the ups and downs. It's finally be positive and enthusiastic and enjoy the things I do. Today, whilst it's normally about activity, building on the Monday motivation, Tuesday training has been slightly different. I have been training of sorts, but I'll come back to that. Before I get going, just like to request that you give a thumbs up to this episode if you can. That'd be absolutely amazing. Just trying to share some good feeling, some spirit around the YouTube world. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. That'd be absolutely amazing too. Check out some of the previous videos to get an idea of what this is all about. It might seem a bit obscure to start with, but all I'm trying to do, like I say, is portray a positive and enthusiastic attitude, which I think I have, and keep enjoying everything I do. Yesterday on Monday Motivation, I was talking a lot about being inspired by Kay and the guys at the London Marathon, of course, Kay. My wife took part with friends. Being all around all of that was fantastic. And yesterday I was looking forward to the football. But I did say I'm not I'm gonna try not to let the result, regardless of what it would be, affect me. And whilst it was particularly bad, Forest of course lost to local rivals, Leicester. Um I'm gonna try not to let it bother me. Um but Sort of over that now, well, I mentioned yesterday how I tried to sort of deal with some of the negatives in a, in a lot better better way than they used to around football. It doesn't always work, but again, what this is, is a, a work in progress. Me just trying to develop and keep pushing forward and look forward to the different things. I started there by saying it's Tuesday training, and of course it is. <laughs> Normally, I'd be thinking about getting out, but today I've been particularly busy finishing, working my notice in one job and starting another one, which officially started today after that hectic weekend that I'm really tired from. Kind of felt like a fresh start, but as the day went on, things are just starting to creep up on me, tiredness kicked in. I had some coaching to do as well this evening, so it was a particularly long one bouncing from one thing to another and of course when you start a new job it always feels tough taking that information on board one of those situations and i think it's worth talking about today where you kind of look forward to it so much and then when it comes all the anxieties kick in because you think can i do this am i going to figure it out i'm going to realize what happens but it's been something i've really want really want to do something I've been looking forward to starting. So I've got to be confident in my own ability, keep sort of being prepared to get out of my comfort zone, something I talk a lot about on Do Daily, and really just keep sort of embracing, learning new things, taking, new informa taking more information on board and processing it the best I can. By thinking about it, by talking about it, just like I do with the vlogs, it's a fantastic opportunity just to keep developing in a in a brand new area to be honest brand new sort of line of work but something that's really really exciting too so without sort of going on too much about the work what what i've got to do being busy you know things that could almost be a negative it's been Really, it's been a really good day, really positive. Almost feels like a step for the future. And after everything that's happened in the last few months, getting married, getting the puppy, you know, everything with Forrest sort of coming good, then going not so good, and all the things I, I put my efforts into, the running not quite working out, and now I feel like I want to get back into the training. Again, it just feels like so much has happened at once. But... As I always insist, it's not for shirking. You know, we have to take what comes at us. It's not always like that, is it? We don't always have doors open for us in such a way. Things don't always work out. All I'm trying to do by this is 
talk about when it does work, talk about when it doesn't. And of course, if it's not working for people, to encourage them that things turn around. I've mentioned throughout time on Do Daily, and I'll mention it again when I'm not feeling so great, when it's not working, where it's not worked, and try and get sort of into a bit of detail. Any, in any given episode, you might not see that, but as time progresses, all these things that make me tick, make me work, really come out. So today's just been one of them, almost like going back to school. Do you know that's how it feels that first day in a new job, doesn't it? It, it feels like a, a really tough one, and where, where you have to almost accept it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable, but. Of course, with such things, the rewards are there and it's definitely worthwhile. It's a great example of of what I say about, I've already touched on this, but I, I think it's worth expanding on, of what I say about getting out of your comfort zone. Do you know, it's, 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 something, it's something that at times we just do without thinking about, but at other times it can really affect us, you know, but everybody feels the same. And again, it's just a, an example of, of a situation where people feel the same, normal people doing normal things, you know, living normal experience. If, if I can just explain that a little bit, you know, make people feel that little bit more at ease when, when this situation arises, there's all sorts of things that affect us. There's all sorts of things that can quickly take us from a good place to a bad place. So it's important just to remember that it's quite normal. It's quite a natural feeling. You know, our own insecurities, inadequacies come out at times, but we just have to accept them and move forward. For me personally, in the situation I was in today, it's just about asking questions, you know, explaining how I feel about my sort of roles and responsibility and just using it in that sense to make sure that everybody's on the same page and we're all, we're all working forward and that's that's once you've done it what i'm trying to get to ultimately is it feels great because it feels like tomorrow is another day and we move forward that little bit more and that's what today's been about do you know whilst i did get that coaching session in more chance to get out in the first year i was actually really late for it planning on taking part and it would have been a great wind down you know i always talk about how activity can be that perfect head space to get out there you know even a 5k run a small walk around the block absolutely anything just to sort of tick off that tuesday training element to what i do of course i use them as motivations and i've not used it in the same way today but it had been a great opportunity to get out there after a particularly busy day soak it all up you know think about it you know use that almost dead time whilst i'm out there you know time i can allow myself to think about whatever i want rather than what's next or what chores to do or what what i need to do tomorrow and use it but it wasn't the case so what i guess where where i got to ultimately after all of that you know i got home played with stan a little bit you know, myself and Kay sat down, took some time out. And again, it's just a way of sort of bringing it all back in, you know, <laughs> reeling it all back in to make it work. Not often of an evening I get that opportunity. So really enjoyed it. I'll be back at the winning clubs tomorrow um, with a potentially doing a quiz after that as well at the local pub. So it's not always for us. But when we get it, we really enjoy it. And of course, having Stan, the puppy now, it, it it's a great wind down, you know. And whilst I've always been cautious about getting the puppy, of course, I got it for Kay at the wedding, you know. It's fantastic as well for mental health, for my mental health, for bringing me back into shape after a long day, playing with him, play fighting with him, you know, doing what whatever we need to do as a couple just to wind down it's a perfect way to end the day gonna get an early night tonight try and sort of kill off any more of these thoughts just for today because there'll be lots more learning understanding complications tomorrow but really looking forward to that the challenge checking back in 
thankfully I got a part one vlog in really enjoyed doing that really felt good about doing it as well after I ran quite a lot last weekend doing the vlog it made me feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do so I was out at Clapham Common in London as part of that marathon weekend fantastic to be around lots of runners lots of people lots of like-minded people who get from it what I do when I'm on top form so hopefully that will showcase that hopefully it will inspire you to get out getting a Wednesday workout I'll be doing that at the running club I'll be doing it around even more runners and hopefully feeling even more inspired to take it on for the rest of the week Looking at a few options for Thursday Thoughts, of course, the live episode where I encourage interaction. If you've got any questions about the London Marathon, or if you could answer that feedback, have you ever thought about it? Or would you consider be do would you consider doing more marathons? I'd love to receive that. Please post it on any, any of the social media you'll see at the end of the video or any of the videos so far. Check back and what I've been talking about, like I said at the start, it'll give you a great idea about everything. It will shape what Do Daily is all about. And hopefully you'll understand why I do this. It's a great way for me to really sign off, you know, reflect on what's happened. And in whichever way I can, make it that little bit better going forward. And that's all it's about for me. So until that Wednesday workout episode, check out the previous Project Part 1 play PB playlist. That's too many Ps in one sentence to get right all the time. But check that out. There's some great vlogs, especially if you're a Part 1 run enthusiast or if you just enjoy running, you know, or if you just enjoy different kind of content, it's a great way to check in. But for now, until tomorrow in that episode, Catch me on Clapham Common last Saturday morning, just doing it.